guys, Cameron Stewart here with eXp Realty in Rome, New York, serving your residential real estate needs here in the Mohawk Valley. I'm talking with Colin LaRoe today about um, a, an interesting story he's got from an out-of-state client. Colin is with Goldbass and LaRoe, uh, attorneys at law in downtown Utica. Colin, how are you today? I'm doing great, Cameron. Thanks for having me. How are you? My pleasure. It's always, always a pleasure to have you, and I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, Colin's got an interesting story about an out-of-state client. He provides exceptional service to his clients, uh, even if they're 3,000 miles away. Um, so, so, so Colin, tell us about this interesting story that you had play out. Sure. So we spoke um, a while back about um, out-of-state closings and how it's possible to buy a home or sell a home if you're not physically present in uh, Utica, the greater Utica area. So this uh, case study, we have uh, a client, he's moving from California to the greater Utica area. Uh, he contacts us, everything's good to go. He's got his financing all lined up. So this story is interesting because it kind of touches on everything that can happen in the real estate closing process, right? He's got everything good to go. He had his pre-approval, the contract signed. He's basically packed his bags and ready to go. Well, lenders are lenders and they have their requirements. They got their boxes they have to check and they're emailing him and calling him and saying like, hey, we need you to get us this. We need you to get us this. And he starts getting frustrated because they've asked for the same thing six times. And they do this. It's a frustrating process. Okay, we need more pay stubs. We didn't close in time. We need additional verification of income. We got to see that you've paid your rent. We got to make sure your dog doesn't have fleas. We got to make sure, uh, you know, all this stuff, right? He got so frustrated that he became, I don't want to use the words, uh, word belligerent, but he got a little uh, testy with the lender and he didn't get them the stuff they needed in time. So about two weeks before closing, the lender says, that's it. We're not financing this deal. And we're thinking, this is done. What are we going to do? We were able to save the deal. We found him a different lender who was able to verify everything in about a week process. And rather than him have him fly from California, he was able to sign documents in advance, grant us power of attorney, POA, to sign and close the deal for him. So his first trip, he showed up, got the keys from us and moved into his home rather than driving here, never uh, setting foot in the home, trying to close, you know, having his dog sitting in the truck outside while he's trying to sign documents to close. He knew when he got here, he'd have the keys to enter his new home. So, um, you know, a lot of things can happen in the closing process, but it just shows you that um, whether you're in state, out of state, whether you, you think things are done, you got to follow through until the, the last minute. You got to make sure um, all your T's are crossed, your I's are dotted. And uh, there's ways to get these things done if you have the right people in place. Uh, absolutely, Colin. That, that, that's a great story. Folks, Anyone, anyone decent in real estate, whether they're, they're, they're a lender, um, they're an agent, they're, they're an attorney like Colin, if they're decent, they're a problem solver, okay? Uh, Colin uh, had a problem. It wasn't, it wasn't his problem by any means, but he went out of his way to solve it, um, and, and that's, that, that's what we're here for, okay? Uh, so, so great story, Colin. S super awesome uh, of you taking care of your clients like that, and it's a big deal moving from California. It's not as simple. This, this guy didn't have an hour drive. You know, he had, right. he had a three-day yeah, three drive. So, right. um, awesome. Now, now, Colin, if someone wants to get exceptional representation to the closing process, if they're buying or selling a home here and they would like to do so with you, how do they get a hold of you? Sure. So, uh, my email address, Colin, C-O-L-I-N, at goldbasslaw.com. Uh, we're at 185 Genesee Street on the Adirondack Bank Building, 9th floor in downtown Utica. And our phone number, 315-724-2248. Folks, that's it. Stay tuned for more videos that are going to be coming in uh, the coming weeks. Uh, we're going to be sitting down with Colin again soon to talk everything closing from a real estate attorney's perspective in the Mohawk Valley. Colin, thanks for joining me, and folks, we hope to speak to you soon.